An Object of Beauty is a, uh, a novel about a young woman uh, who begins her career in Manhattan in 1993 and it follows her career in the art world through 2009, which is the greatest uh, boom and deflation in the art market that I think at least the 20th century has ever seen. And it's her, and she's a very uh, dynamic uh, young woman. She's not exactly a person you might look up to. She's a very complicated uh, person. She can be nefarious, uh, but she is also quite charismatic. And so we follow her uh, through all her experiences and what she does to herself and to people. Well, I've uh, spent a lot of time in the art world myself. Um, I've been fascinated by it. And uh, I've also been fascinated by very dynamic people, which you meet a lot in the arts, in show business, and the, art, the arts in general. You often meet very flagrant characters. And so I've been fascinated by them too, and what makes them work. I try to make the point in the book that the narrator is a, is a young man when he starts out, and he's trying to, to learn to write about art clearly. And, and he cites a few of his heroes who happen to do that, to write clearly about art, because a lot of people don't write clearly about art, and it's very off-putting, I think, to readers. Uh, they think that they feel stupid because it's so dense a, a lot of times. Um, so I'm sort of against that. It's called art speak. And it's very complicated, it's very hard to parse, it's very abstract. Uh, so I have a certain personal uh, <laughs> dislike of that kind of writing. When I was younger and I first got interested in art, I found it very romantic, these, the idea of these beautiful things. Uh, they were, you know, housed in beautiful buildings. I was trying to figure them out. You know, why was there so much hoopla about all these objects uh, from Vermeer and Rodin? And these, the, there was also the, the aura around people's names of Van Gogh and Monet and Leonardo da Vinci. And there was this, they were geniuses. They were known as geniuses. So it was very alluring. And I just got interested in it. I wanted to illustrate the book. I didn't really come, know that I wanted to do that until after I'd been writing it for about a year. And um, I, I really illustrated pictures that are relevant you know, to the story. So in some cases, they are specifically relevant to the story. And in some cases, they simply illustrate an artist I'm talking about just to uh, make it easier for the reader because I didn't want to sit, you know, for, you know, a paragraph describing a painter when you can really just simply show it. There was really no reason not to. I thought, you know, usually when you get a, a book with illustrations, they're all bunched together in the center, and I guess they do that to save money. money. And I told the publisher, I said, look, if I can print it out on my home computer, you can, you can print it out with your big printing machines. And I wanted them to fall when I was talking about them. Not, I didn't want the reader to have to go find them in the centers uh, somewhere. So, because they were, uh, you know, really important to the story to have them come at the moment when you're reading about it. You know, the narrator of this book is male. So he's really casting his gaze on a woman. And actually, Picasso used to do that. You know, he, he painted a lot of pictures especially later in life, of a man looking at a woman. And I think it's, there's something fascinating about the way men look at women. And uh, I guess it just intrigues me, I don't know, because they're, especially Lacey, who is really inexplicable. Uh, so, so I think it's good for, it, it was, it, just seemed right to have a young man follow her for 18 years and still not have her figured out. And as, as the book opens, he says, I'm just sick of thinking about her and I have to write this book to get it out of my head.
get her out of my head. I hope um, readers, first of all, um, have a clear experience with the book that uh, I, I think the worst thing that can happen to a reader is when they finish a book, they, they go, what happened? Um, uh, I hope that they understand a little bit more about the art world, but mostly this book is about a character. And I hope they have um, a deeper understanding of a kind of person that does exist in this world that they might be a little more wary of when they come across him or her. Thank you.